they, so the brother saying that he used to be a pastor, and the second that you started teaching according to God's laws, they did what now? They wanted to ambush you. That's because they know the power behind God's law. They know that if, if, like what I read earlier, they wanted you, they want you to teach just for hire. Just give them a sweet song. Don't give them what they really want. Like the, like the, like the uh, movie A Birth of the Nation. When you, when, uh, when Nat Turner opened the Bible, a lot of things were blacked out. Yep. The only thing that they wanted was was the uh the sweet sounding to keep you in a dark style state so yeah read that jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 16 thus saith the lord of hosts hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you they make you vain they speak a vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of the lord so that's what they want you to do they want you. They don't want you to hearken to this Bible, right? So what? 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 Uh, what? Jer what they was the Most High telling Jeremiah was not to hearken to the people in these churches because they speaking of their own visions. They they speaking of their own hearts. Read that. Verse twenty two. But if they had stood in my counsel and had caused my people to hear my words, then they should have turned from their evil way and from the evil of their doing. So if they, would, if they would have left you in that church to teach God's laws, those people would have stopped sinning. They would stop sinning. They would stop uh, buying and selling on the Sabbath days. They, women would stop wearing dresses and skirts. Men would stop shaving their heads, uh, uh, shaving their beards and their heads, because that's, according to God's laws, that's, that's a, a sin. So we would turn our ways from, away from our evil doings. Right. And by, by that happening to them, like we read earlier, that's a bad sign. For them. That's, that's going into their pockets. So you have to preach it freely. It's not about uh, like what we read in uh, Malachi, where, where the uh, pastors and the preachers teach for hire. That's the only reason why they teach and preach, is for hire. Right. That's why you see most of the pastors, the preachers, they're doing f uh, uh, completely well. And a lot of people in the pews and, the, and the, uh, the people that are going in the church say, surely God is dealing with them. Because they, they live in real good. But in reality, you're giving them all your money. You're giving them all your money. That's the reason. So, let me get a couple laws. Let me get a couple laws. Because what I got to do is I got to show you, first give me a... Uh, um, no, first give me uh, Isaiah 58 and 1. So what we have to do is we have to explain to God's people that we must keep his laws. That's the only way we will come out of the state of, of poverty and the state of being at the bottom of society today. Read that. Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 1. Read it out. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression. So the Most High is saying to show his people their transgression, where they're faulting at, so that they can convert themselves and change, right? right? So give me, uh, give me Leviticus 21. 9, uh, yeah, yeah, five. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse five. They shall not make baldness upon their head. Uh -huh. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So this was right after we came out of Egypt. Right after we came out of Egypt, the Most High told Moses, tell my people after the thing, actually, let's get it. Give me uh, Leviticus 18. Bring it up. Instead of quoting it, we're just going to read it. Leviticus 18 and what, three? Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 3. After the doings of the land of Egypt, uh -huh. wherein ye dwell, mm -hmm. ye shall not do. So after the things that you did in Egypt, like idol worship, all these serving all these other gods, shaving your heads, shaving your body, because that's the thing that the Egyptians did. They would shave their head to toe, and then they'd have wigs on and put all these all this makeup on. And that's what they used to do. They used to shave their faces 
That's all the things that the Egyptians used to do. Above, uh, 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 they used to do a lot of a lot of abominable things, but this is some of the stuff that we're dealing with now. So the scriptures say two chapters over or three chapters over, he says, now some of these things are shaving our heads and balding our face. That's against God's laws. His 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 uh, chosen men are not supposed to be doing that. Or women. Read that one more time, 21 and 5. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Bring it out. They shall not make baldness upon their head. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard, nor make any cuttings in their flesh. So that, that last part is going into like tattoos and things like that. So the way that we stop doing that and repent is we allow our beards to grow, right? right. So for example, like I, you shave, you, you have to shave your face, right? You shave your face. So when you look in the, uh, when you, how can you tell a difference? How you doing, sis? So what we what we showing is the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are God's chosen people, and that we need to stop with our wicked ways, going against God, and start coming back to God in order to get to heaven. Right. All right, you believe that? Yeah. All right, sis, read that flyer. Okay. Read that flyer. Our contact info is on the back. Okay. If you want, you can sit here and listen. Okay, but I got to go here by Sis, today's the Sabbath day. We're not supposed to be buying. That's right. Hey. Oh, yeah. Wait, today's the Sabbath day. Today's the Sabbath day. Oh, the Sabbath day. Yeah. God's, God's chosen day, sanctified day above all other days. Yes, God right. me. I'm on the All right. All right, sis. God be blessed. So, so blessed. like I was saying, when you look, when you look at uh, the animal kingdom, you look at a lion, how can you tell the difference between a lioness and a lion? The main, right? It's the same. It's the same way in society today. How can you tell the difference between a man and a woman if you're just looking at the face? Because some brothers may be real soft. Soft. They may look like a woman, right? You tell the difference by this by this beard. That's how you tell the difference. Let me get the uh, compact Bible dictionary. Where's that at? Let me get the definition of beer because it's extremely heavy of, of, of how uh it's right there the first one the first time okay okay all right we'll go back to that uh the first blue tab so it's it's very heavy that we have to come back to god's laws if we don't we're going to stay in the condition that we in. this is the definition of beer read that this is out of the Compact Bible Dictionary, Zonovan Bible Dictionary. The word beer, a badge of manly dignity. Let me ask you a question. Any one of you brothers, what is a badge? If a police officer walks up right here and he has a badge on. Shield. It's a shield. It's, it's, a, uh, it's like it gives him authority, right? He has that badge, right? So the authority that we were given was this beer. The, the, I mean, the beard gives you authority and shows you to be a man. Read that again. Beard, a badge of manly dignity uh -huh. as a sign of mourning. It was the custom to pluck it out or cut it off. Uh -huh. The Israelites, the who? The Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, and natives today, read, were forbidden to shave off the corners of their beards, probably because it was regarded as a heathenish sign. So it was regarded as a heathenish sign. Just like when Moses said, don't do after the land of Egypt, because that's what they used to do is shave their beards, shave their heads. So we're not supposed to be doing those things.
that make it so hard to serve God? And why when I say that I'm a Jew, it sound odd? For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man. I ain't saying that no more, it sound wrong, man. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.